It's Adolfo Mickey Quill. And oh my goodness, guess what? I've already filled my first album for 2016. And guess what? I have Easter eggs too. Thanks, Aaron. Um, yes. So about this, look, I, I really, really, really love the 9x12 format. It's my favourite format ever. I love it. Um, and I'll talk a little bit more about that as I go through the flip. But... The only reason why this is already full and it was only two and a half weeks worth is because it was school holidays and school holidays I become human again because I'm a teacher and I'm a hermit during the rest of the year and so we did lots of things. We saw all the people, we did all the things so that's why it's so chunky. So I thought I would give you a little looky. So a lot of the start of this I did on my live scrap screen scrap stream not a scream i didn't just scream scrap for 16 hours um no a scrap stream where i live scrapped it was really fun i'm going to do another one probably at the end of march because feb and march are pretty busy for me at the moment with weekends so this first page then i'll tell you if there's process videos if i know there's process videos pretty sure this was in the stream this was my first go at doing 9 by 12 pocket page layout and I really loved it. I think I used a citrus twist kit for most of this and I'm enjoying labels again. I've never been a huge fan of labels but enjoying them again so that's nice. And then here, so we've got the back side here and it just worked out that these two went really well together with the colours. Like that colour is basically dead on perfect to match this so what I'm doing is I'll put the link down below to my uh, 2016 update for Project Life as well if you haven't seen that but what I'm doing is I'm putting Project Life and large layouts in the one album so that I'm not double scrapping because I found that I was double scrapping so I would put say this photo in my Project Life album but then I would want to scrap it because it was pretty so I'd print it again and then I'd scrap it in 12 by 12, which is just silly. It's just, it's just a waste. So I figure having them all in the one album is a better solution for me. It's, everyone's different. Maybe some people, if they didn't put that in there, if they were going to print that and make it a 12 by 12 layout, they wouldn't put it in their project life, but I love photos, so I did. <laughs> So I'm trying some black and white photos this year and also adding ephemera in as well. This was a nice mixed metery one. I did this definitely on the scrap stream using some of the new crepe paper Hello Love. I love this page just because it goes so well together. Um, so we're in Sydney for New Year's Eve and we, we live about an hour and a half north of Sydney. So going to Sydney is kind of a, a big deal. It's where all action happens, not up where we are. Um, and so I did this on the stream and used some mixed media paper that I had in my stash and just a heart punch. And also tried out my new sewing machine, which was fun. A very bright layout this one and I'm actually leaving photos without embellishments on them I know it's strange but I'm I'm going with it I like it so then over here this photo is actually a panorama uh, and I didn't even chop it off the excess white photo paper I just really liked those white strips and I th thought it went with this layout over here really well and I'm using lots of different inserts and all bits and pieces. There is a process video for this one, which should be up already. This was Aaron's second ever scrapbook page, which was really cute. So he did that on the, the, the first scrap stream, I think. Was it the second one? No, it was the first one. Yeah, it was the first one because in the second one he did a smashbook page. I really love that. I probably am going to put a little bit of journaling on the back saying it was Aaron's second page as well. And then just some more cards. This page bothered me. I just couldn't make it work. So I just did what I did and moved on because I need to get up to date with Project Life. And I am. I'm going really well this year. Touch wood. Where's some wood? Touch some fake wood printed on some packaging um, so I just had to go with it move on just get it done so this has a process video because it's a photo of some 
journaling that Aaron's grandfather did instead of a photo of a place or something or a person's face. Then I love this layout. This layout also has a process video. I'm really enjoying the 6x12 format. So I highly recommend if you want to change things up a little bit, do a 6x12 insert in your album because it's really fun. It challenges you because it's so narrow, especially if you have a wide photo going that way. It's, it's, it's fun. And the page protectors are cheap. Um, this is our best selfies of 2015. As you do... And then I love this layout. Absolutely love this. I made this using the Scraptastic December um, kit, all of you kit, which a lot of these layouts are from that kit because I was determined to kill it. Absolutely determined. So a lot of it is from that Scraptastic December kit. But it was the perfect colours for me. It was pinks, it was blues, and it just worked out really, really well. But this would probably be one of my favourite layouts that I've done for a while. I just... I don't know, I, something about the clustering and the paint, the paper. Oh, I just love it. I love it. This was a very bunny layout. I think this has a process video. I'm pretty sure it does. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it does. And I found my typewriter again, which is exciting. So I've been doing a lot of typing on some vellum. And then over here, we've got when we went to Matilda and I'm using, I'm adding in ephemera. This definitely is on the scrap stream. So I remember doing this on camera. So this is the, the takeaway menu because I think in years to come it'd be great for to look back and you know see what the price of things were. And that's the Matilda um, you know brochure thing. If Matilda comes near you, you have to see it. It's freaking unbelievable. So that was good. And then I put in our receipt. Now someone asked me, do I care about fading and things like that? Meh, yeah, not really. Um, if it fades, it fades. Honestly, I couldn't be bothered to take photos of it and then print it out again. And it's just, yeah, I couldn't be bothered about the, the acid freeness of the receipt. Um, if it fades, then it's okay. It's all right. So then we're still on that same week. This is when I did the scrap stream. This was my craft math. And then I've been putting in a lot of like memes and things, which I'm really enjoying. Here's me at the scrap stream. And then my friend went to, um, she went on a Kentucky tour to Europe and she sent postcards from every country that she went to. Hi, Courtney, if you're watching. Um, so she's, there's a lot of interesting postcards in here that she has sent. And then that was a wedding RSVP invite. There's some more layouts. I don't, don't know if that, actually, yeah, that does have a uh, video, I think. And then I liked this one. It had a little flippy flop. So this was a, a snap flip pocket. It's the bigger version of these, which I really enjoyed. A lot of this was on the scrap stream. I love this one. Used my Dilutions inks and some watercolour paper to do a real drippy thing going on here. And this one's using the Scraptastic numbers that were in that kit. And I just did 10 things I love about my Nan. And then more postcards, naughty one, next to the Pope. <laughs> We've got man boobs and pinwheels and drunk squirrels. She knows me well. All the best postcards. And then another 6x12 layout. I just love how tactile this all is, like with the postcards and with the different page protectors. I just want to touch everything, all the touching. And so then I love this one. I just did this. Actually, these are new videos, which I'm going to wait to put this flip up. I'm going to tease you and not put this flip up until I've put all these process videos up. Sorry. <laughs> And some more Project Life. These are all videos as well. Some lovely, I love these hearts. I really love doing um, mixed media on other paper and then using it to punch out shapes and things. So there's a, a video on this, I think. That was for the Scraptastic blog post that I did back in January. Taking photos, taking selfies with my like six and a half foot 
um, friend, which is interesting because I only come up to his bibby. <laughs> so then some more Project Life. There's process videos on these. There's a little more flippy flop. And then I just stuck in some of the ephemera from that day. We went uh, wine tasting. So stuck in some of the things, which I know adds to the chunk, but I like it. I think that I'll appreciate it in years to come that everything's not just photos because I look back at my other albums and I think, oh, wouldn't it be nice to have had that or had that ticket or whatever, and just look at prices, I think, as well. So some more. Just these are all, these ones coming up all 8.5 by 11 because it's a lot easier to buy 8.5 by 11 uh, page protectors than it is the 9 by 12. Trying to kill this December Scraptastic kit again. I really like this one. So this is Rowan and I called it Row Love because they they have a bromance. They really do. And then this is my bestie. So I think it's cute to have my bestie and then his bestie. And then we're besties with each other's bestie as well. So it all works out well. This was from that magazine and it was just 10 great reasons to visit the Hunter Valley and I just I just liked it and I put the zebra on there. I actually got the zebra on a layout because my best friend and I, back in the old days, we used to always happen to go out wearing the exact same colours or the same style of things. And, you know, we're now 26, 27, and things haven't changed from when we were 16 because we got dressed in our, like, in different rooms and at her house, and we both walked out in navy and white stripes with cream. So I put the zebras because we were both in stripes, which I thought was funny. And then there's a process video on this one. I just did a grab five actually on this one. And then this is the last layout. I decided to leave it on this side and then on the back, there should be a process video for this too. On the back, I just put that zebra paper because A, I'm not going to use it. And B, I just needed a, a paper basically so that it wasn't just boring backs of photos. So it has no relevance whatsoever. I just used a El Crapo paper from my stash that I didn't like. <laughs> Pretty much how that goes. So thanks for watching guys and so this is only until, what's the date? Let me have a look. This was an epic week. Far out. Far out Brussels sprout. All of that is one week. It was a big week though. It was school holidays. We were both on, Aaron was on holidays as well. But yes, so this is all only until the 17th of January. Whoopsies! So, um, so yes. Yes. But I love it. I absolutely love it. It's my favourite album I think I've ever done. Even more favourite than my wedding album. I just, I just love all of the bits and the bobs and the things and how chunky everything is. I just love it. All right, so thanks for watching, guys. And I will make sure that I do a flip every time I finish an album for this year. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Any questions in the comments below? I'll try and put a list of the process videos that I've mentioned in the description box. Um, I am going to wait to post this until all of those videos are up, I think, so that you don't see them beforehand so that I can be a bit secretive. So thanks for watching. I'm going to have a chocolate Easter egg because you know, it's February and um, why not? Is, there, is anyone else obsessed with these Cadbury little solid eggs? They're the best sweet food ever. All right, thanks for watching guys. Bye!